Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. In this session we'll be learning the first parak of Sefer Breshit, Parshat Breshit. Pasuk says, Pur the first mitzvah of the Tayag Mitzvot. It's found in this parsha, Parsha Breshit. And uh, the mitzvah is a well-known mitzvah. We paskin that one has a chi, if a man is chayav, to have a boy and a girl. What's fascinating is the uh, Rishonim, many of the Rishonim, Rashba, Ritva, and others, and when Chinuch quotes him in the first mitzvah in his Sefer, that according to these commentaries, one is Yotze, Puravu, even if the child is a mamzer. Now that's understandable if a ger marries a mamzeret, which is permissible, so there's nothing wrong. And the child's a mom's there. He's, he could be a great leader in Klai Yisrael. What's fascinating is, what if the mom's was produced, unfortunately, tragically, through a prohibited relationship? So there, too, many Rishonim say that he's Yotze as well, by having a mom's there. And the question is, what about mitzvah baba vera? So the Minchat Chinuch brings one possibility that maybe it's not considered a mitzvah bab avera because at the time of the avera, no mitzvah has been done. They do not come simultaneously. The avera is done at one point, and then uh, later on, almost a year later, the mitzvah occurs. And that possibly is not considered to be mitzvah bab avera. Other Rishonim do not hold this way. The Raman does not bring it down. That one is Yosef through a there. And it could be because he holds that even if it's not simultaneous, if the mitzvah results from an Avera, even if there's a big gap in time, that is not considered to be a fulfillment of mitzvah, and it's a violation of mitzvah bab Avera, which some hold as an iser from the Torah. Mitzvah bab Avera is a psul from the Torah that one is not yotze. So, Yetz Hashem, this is just an interesting theoretical discussion and uh, just an interesting insight into the concept of Puravu and how it relates to Mitzvah Habab Amir. Shalom.